So hi guys, it's your girl Ben Natasha Nicole here and I just came through to do a very quick tutorial. I'm actually, you can tell, all black on so I'm going to work. I'm a little bit in a rush and I just needed something to do to my hair. As you can tell, it was looking quite crazy and I just wanted something different where I didn't really have to worry about it. So I went to my local beauty supply store and I purchased this free tress drawstring ponytail and this is in the uh, violet or the tight violet girl in the color one um yeah so I bought this drawstring ponytail and it was like 11 99 and this is what happened so I'm not gonna sit here and run my mouth because I really don't have anything to say uh yeah if you want to see how I got this style then you know keep on watching this video What's up, you guys? So, yeah. Let's get into this video. <laughs> uh, first off, I'm just starting by um, slicking up my hair. Of course, I'm always, always using my Gorilla Snot Gel. I don't care what nobody says about it. It is, it just, it does my hair so well. And it does get really cakey. But the thing is, with this gel, you just have to realize, like, you have to put water back on it. If you try to brush over it while it's hard, of course your hair is going to break off. So I think that may why it has, like, you know, a bad name to it. And the fact that it does have a little bit of alcohol, but it smooths my edges up perfectly. And especially when I'm doing such a, well, this isn't, like, sleep because it's curly. But I really want an intact bun. You know what I mean? Like ponytail. I want it nice and neat. And I'm so sorry about my voice. Um, I think I'm losing it right now. But um, yeah, so I do that and just use my little edge brush to kind of do my edges just a little bit. And I have learned with doing my edges. I think I'm going to do a, um, a redo video of how I sleep my edges because... I think the way that I'm doing them is kind of not necessarily breaking my hair off. It's just, I don't know, I think I'm using too much hair. That's not baby hair, is what I'm trying to say. So I think I'm going to do an updated routine about I've been doing them differently lately, and I actually like them a lot better. I don't have to tie them up as much. Um, so yeah, thumbs up this video if you want a edge routine update. But yeah, so you're just going to put your hair up into this ponytail. And of course, I can't find anything I'm always looking for, which is probably my rag, do-rag, right? Of course you are, Tasha. Anywho, I'm just clipping my hair up to make sure everything is just nice and, you know, up. Everything is well coated with my gel. And the thing about getting your ponytail to look nice and really, really neat is to tie it up. Like, I don't, you cannot not tie your hair. <laughs> like, it's a must. Whenever you're doing a sleek ponytail, unless you got it flat ironed out and you're using, like, some beeswax or something. But if you're using some gel, honey, tie the head up. It is not going to hurt. Well, it may hurt a little bit because, you know, I mean, like your head. is a little tight and I always try to uh, use that clip to make sure that I'm getting everything as high up to the ponytail as I can um, up there so now I'm just taking the ponytail the little drawstring ponytail so you can see what that looks like on the inside and even though I have super fine hair um, with people with thicker hair, I think you probably have to do a lot more. But for me, all I have to really do is kind of, um, braid a ponytail. Just kind of get it nice and, you know, as tight as possible in the little coil. So, therefore, it'll go in the drawstring ponytail a whole lot better. So, if you have thicker hair, you may have to do, like, several plaits and then kind of put them together. But for me, it's, like, easy peasy my hair is super fine and one thing let me tell you something honey about these drawstring ponytails I ain't wore one in a very very long time but I just needed something really quick and easy for that day I wanted something different 
I, I don't know. I just needed, I just wanted a change. I don't know <laughs> what got into me. But anyway, whenever you put these drawstring ponytails on, I was thinking, you know, like you need to have your clips, you know, a little further up in your head, you know, just kind of give it more space. But actually, you need to put those clips close to the ponytail as possible. Because once you pull that drawstring, it's pulling all that hair. So, like, a middle part of my head, like, by the time the night had went on, my head literally hurt so bad. Like, I had to go eventually, you know, <laughs> by the time work was almost over, go in there and untighten it. Because it was just, like, too, too much. So, you make sure you put those clips closer to your ponytail. So, therefore, when you pull it... It's only grabbing like the ponytail. It's not grabbing like hair that's outside of that ponytail. If you get what I'm saying, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I'm just saying, put the clips close to the ponytail and it won't hurt nearly, nearly as bad. And of course, to uh, make the bun, you see how I just kind of, you know, I just took the hair and just kind of swooped it around. I just kind of twisted it. And then I used the drawstring part of it to kind of almost secure it. So I'm not using tons of bobby pins. And it actually stayed pretty well. Like, I was actually a little bit surprised. So therefore, you don't have like one bobby pin that's kind of holding just the, you know, the drawstring part intact. And then you can kind of pin lightly. Because bobby pins will hurt my head. I don't know about anybody else, but there's only like so long I can wear bobby pins. Even with my wigs. And I bobby pin those on the side. But I end up adjusting them throughout the day. Or either, like, just taking them off, period. Sometimes that thing ain't even secured down. Um, but anyway, back to this video. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so now I'm just kind of trying to see how I like it, what I think about it. How long do I want the bang to be? Is it too much? Is it not enough? Is it look tacky? It's like I almost liked it, but then again, it was like... I don't know. I kind of liked it to the side a little bit sometimes. <laughs> it's just weird. I think I just had to get used to seeing myself with it. So now I'm just taking a few bobby pins and just to kind of keep that hair from moving too far over, or, you know, from going to the back. I'm just kind of putting two bobby pins close together so they just kind of stay where they're supposed to. Now, when you get to cutting this thing, this is where you need to be careful. I feel like, um, you know, just cut little curls at a time. You see how I just went in and just started trying to chop it off, and then you don't see I switched scissors because those things were horrible. Uh, so I just kind of went in and cut it, and I did not like that. I did not like that blunt look. I wanted it more random. So I say take one curl at a time and kind of cut it. Because then I was trying to take the top portion, kind of layer it a little more. And I don't know. I just, because I wish I would have more down on the sides. Like kind of like a U around my face, kind of framing it a little more. Instead of just like straight across. That was just, that was stupid. So next time, if I decide to do this again, you know, I'll do it that way. But just in case y'all looking for something cute. And this is a great uh, little fall time uh, ponytail look. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I don't know why I like buns. This is also a summertime look too, so I mean, feel free to do whatever you want with it. Now I'm just trying to get any straight ends, but I like it when it just looks layered. I just should have did a little more. I think I was thinking about pinning some of it back to kind of layer it make some pieces shorter which I did so I was thinking about not wearing anything around my head but then I just think it looked better. It looked a lot more flawless. Because I feel like if I held my head down, like you could clearly tell, like, it was there. So, I mean, feel free to do whatever. But I kind of like this. The little ponytail holder wrapped around it. I mean, the um, ponytail holder. The headband <laughs> wrapped around it. Of course, I wear all black to work. So, I just put 
a black one on, I feel like it would just mesh. I was kind of in a hurry too, so yeah, I was just trying to be, just trying to look different. You know, sometimes you just want to be different. So, and this uh, headband I actually got from, I believe I got that from Forever 21, and I have one in like burgundy, but um, it's never tight enough, so it's just got like this little piece in the middle that you could just tie, kind of make it tighter, and I liked it a lot. I like this style a lot more when it looked like this, so this is, you know, just about the final results, and I'm pretty pleased with it, so yeah. You guys, let me know what you think below. Feel free to leave any questions, comments, and until next time, I love you guys, and I will see y'all later. Peace. Thank you.